So open your favorite web browser here and go to our website, which is equipmybiz.com. And we have a link on the left here that says drivers and manuals. Click that. You'll choose your printer model here. I'm just going to choose the new Sharp MX2640. Platform will be Microsoft, most likely. Uh, I have a different set of instructions for Mac OS X on my uh, website as well. Uh, so you'll choose uh, which version of Windows you have here. Uh, you can find that out by clicking on Start right-clicking on my computer here go to properties and you'll see it'll list your system type here it'll say 64-bit if you have 64-bit if you have 32 it won't say anything at all so choose the correct version that you have and then your driver type you want to choose uh, if you scroll down you want to choose the PCL underscore PS and then uh, version of Windows you have with the WHQL certification right here. Click search. Should yield a result here. And then uh, you'll have to scroll over to the right. Click download. File and you had to agree to the terms here so check this click download file we'll wait for this to download really quickly now uh, by default you know it's gonna go into your downloads folder so pay attention to where you save the file uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this downloads folder and uh, extract the, the file to the same folder okay so now we have an executable so we'll run this application here uh, it's gonna extract the driver files right here and I've done this before so it's gonna ask me if I want to overwrite this so you can ignore that just say yes to all So at this point, uh, it's going to ask us what type of setup we want to do. We'll just do a standard installation right here. It's going to browse the network to find the printer. Uh, make sure your printer is online at this point already. Uh, so here we are. I found my printer. Uh, used the name here rather than the IP, which is fine. So I'll click Next, and it is installing the driver. Setting up the device. And once it's finished here, it will tell you uh, it's done, but you want to configure the printer. Uh, so we're going to do that next. So we'll click OK. Uh, we don't need to do a restart. So open your control panel or your printer's menu then you're going to right click on the sharp and go to printer properties not this properties button here but the printer properties go to the configuration tab at the top click auto configuration and put a little dot where the fingers point click OK and click apply and at this point you're done if you want to default your prints to black and white though uh, go to the Advanced tab, click Printing Defaults, and check the black and white print box right here at the bottom. And then you should be good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, please consult our how-to library that's located uh, at equipmybiz.com uh, and the how-to library right here. Also, we have our uh, table of contents on our blog here. For you as well and I'm adding to this all the time so if you have any special requests just shoot me an email here thanks